Hello dear colleagues, partners and investors. You're on the channel of Doing of Smarters and as usually I'm Alexander Sudrev. And today we are in an unusual location for all of us. It's the innovative center in Weihai, China. Today we will talk about very interesting things. Viktor Aristov will tell us what activities this center is engaged in, how we are connected with this center, and what our expectations from the further partnership are. Let's hurry to get these things figured out. We are now located in the building of Weihai Innovative Park, i.e. it is the main place where all companies operating on the territory of Weihai, foreign companies, are located. You can see that here, the different parts of the Innovative Park are presented. We were in the building of the Innovative Park last time, this is where we shot our motorcycles and our cars. The government of Weihai lends strong support to the development of technologies and pays a lot of attention to it. That's why the three main Weihai innovative zones have been created. One of them is on the south, another one is in the center, where we are now in collaboration with the authorities of Weihai. And there is one more zone in the north. What we can see behind me is those people who got awarded for developing technologies. You can see me on one of the stands. Last year we were awarded the Tangshan Prize for our technologies. ASWP technology for the applications of our motors. The government allotted 800,000 yuan only for me and 1,800,000 yuan on the whole for supporting our technology for our company. The government pays a lot of attention to it. And what you can see in this center mainly is the presented information about the Chinese partner corporation with different foreign companies and private individuals, doctors, professors. The authorities of Weihai allot not only the material resources, but they also lend support to the families, to the engineers, providing them with free accommodation premises offices Now we are going to a special hotel for the engineers that will work to promote the common good. Now you will see the rooms where such talented, much needed and important workers will reside. Let's go!
now we're in the top importance place, the Way High Canteen. This is a canteen where the engineers will be able to have breakfast, lunch and dinner. The breakfast and lunch meals are absolutely free. Please note how clean and well organized it is. And this is just a regular canteen for an average worker. It is very nice. We are also going to have a look at the office facilities that we will be provided with for work as well as accommodation for the engineers. To support the development of the technologies, the government provides the production facilities, so it's supported by the government on the highest level. What I like most of all is that China pays a lot of attention to the country itself. It's normal if we consider the policy of the country and the government. So, in order to boost the economy, it's necessary to take care of your own country. That's why we should follow the example and see why China is developing so fast, why the innovations are developing so fast and actively. They are not banning. They are attracting investments from all over the world and facilitate their development right here. Victor, is it possible that our technology will be attracted and leave Russia? It's necessary to tackle this issue in a very diplomatic way. Because the aspiration to take only is presented everywhere. It's the same in Russia and in Germany too. How we're going to find a corporation since the interest is very big. And if we look at the market development and consumption of motors, China is a country where 50% of the world fleet of motors is consumed, or even of all motors produced worldwide. If China produces 70% of all motors and consumes 50%, we should consider the potential of this market. If we want to enter these markets, we can't aim at the Russian market only. That's why our cooperation and how we implement it depends on our agreements. Because you can copy, take and copy just one motor, but you can't copy the whole technology. That's why when you were here during the talks, you could see that the discussion was about how this money we have here can be attracted. The same money as provided for the development in order to attract ASWP in Zelenograd, Sovelmanch for developing these technologies. So they should pay for the developments, then they can produce. The forms of partnership can be found. The technology can be purchased or jointly developed. The market is provided. For me personally, entering this market is interesting. First step to the Chinese market is 50% of the world market. That's why if we consider this direction, I see it as more promising. All the measures taken to make this partnership compliant with the law and profitable for both parties. Exactly. It means finding the forms of partnership that will be beneficial for both parties. Everyone tries to draw as much attention as possible to their side. It's a normal approach in any business. And that's why we need to search for areas of common interest to enable maximum benefit for both parties. It's true. But what I'm saying is that 50% potential of the world consumption is in China. The whole Asia starts with China. And if we consider Asia, it's not 50%, it's much more. But the production of all motors is located exactly here. We can produce in Russia, but we need investments which China won't provide for foreign countries. This is a very reasonable policy, because they are boosting their own economy.
not the economy of some business people abroad. They are rather tracking them to their own country. Can Russia do the same? Attract foreign specialists for it? Not merely get gratification? For buying foreign motors? What we can see on the Russian market graphically shows where Russian motors are used. I have hardly seen them anywhere. And Russian producers are not closed for the West. China is aiming at the West too. Whether we will produce here or in Russia depends on our agreements, how we will use this potential. And that's why the vested interests should be put aside and we should consider the cooperation options entering the market. We are in another Chinese restaurant. You get acquainted with Chinese literature here, here in the launch town. I don't understand a single word, but it's very interesting. Earlier we showed you an improvised library in a coffee shop, and now we can witness that people in China like books a lot and like reading a lot. And now in one of the meeting rooms in Weihai Innovative Center, you can see quite a big library. I can't say there are really a lot of books here, but for a meeting room, it's quite impressive. So, this is a conference hall, a place where meetings are held. I sent some pictures of the meetings with the authorities of Weihai held in this hall. This is a place where top-level meetings are held. The smaller-scale ones are held in another building of Weihai Innovative Center. Enjoy viewing!